Hi, sisters and friends and bookkeeping mamas. Welcome to Bookkeeping Mama, Bookkeeping Advocate. I am Tarana Parker here. I am a bookkeeping mama and I aim to be your bookkeeping advocate. It's helping you along the journey to making sure your family has financial freedom by providing you some bookkeeping tips, some lifestyle bookkeeping tips, and also some financial literacy coaching. Today, I want to do a really quick short video about a concept that I wanted to... Actually, I, I was going to take this and break it into three different videos. I was actually going through my list of video creation that I made two years ago. And I said, you know what, I'm going to just combine those three topics. So the gist of the video is looking to the future and how we prepare for the future. So there were three things that I wanted to talk about. And the first one was stop secret spending. So when we think of the fruit of the spirit in Galatians chapter 5, we think of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And that was the NIV version. We may have love, joy, peace, uh, long-suffering, goodness, faith, um, gentleness, and temperance, meekness. I almost forgot meekness if we're using the King James Version. But ultimately... When we are doing secret spending, and by secret spending, I mean those kind of spending binges that people go on when we don't want our husbands to know what we're doing. So we're sneaking and we're spending money. We have separate accounts. We're doing certain things and we're just trying to be elusive with everything we're doing. And I'm not talking about we're spending money on a surprise birthday party for our dear little husband. We're not talking about that. We're talking about purchases that we're hiding, funds that we're hiding. The best way to prepare for the future is first of all, be honest, come clean, stop secret spending. The second way is to put your measures in place to help you to stop any secret spending or to stop overspending whether it's secret or not. So for example, preparing for a future event. Let me just take a step back. Preparing for a future event could be something good. I'm preparing for a car. I'm preparing to send my children to college. I'm preparing to leave my children a legacy. It could be something that is not so happy. Maybe your mom's sick and you know that eventually you're going to have to go and take care of her or move her in with you. Or you may just have to go up and visit for a funeral or perhaps uh, you have an aging grandparent or uh, something along those lines and you know you're going to have to prepare for something. Um, one of the key tips that I have is uh, if you have the issue with spending, then change those passwords where you access some of the things. So for example, your password may be college prep. And so you know that uh, when you log in, when you type in college prep, it kind of gets your mind to a place where, oh, this is really, I really need to be mindful because I am preparing to send my child to college. You may have something like, they deserve better, 101, um, exclamation point, for, um, to remember that your children do need you to leave them something or your children need to be taken care of. You may have something like, remember mama or remember daddy, because you know that you really need to start preparing to take care of them as you know, they're aging or whatever is going on. You may have trust and obey to help you bring you back to the point of just, hey, you know, let me just really trust in the Lord. Me having these desires to continually purchase something that I'm maybe not going to use anyway. Uh, am I really trusting? Do I have the self-control that I'm, that I'm, you know, that the scriptures speak about? Do I have peace within myself? Peace that surpasses all understanding. Why am I doing these things? And so when you're putting in those passwords, it can help to bring you back to where you are. And I know nowadays you don't have to type a password in every single time, but that's something that you can also set. Maybe you set it to where um, it doesn't remember your laptop, it doesn't remember your cell phone. And so each and every time you have to put the password in. I'm thinking of the scripture where Paul's talking about beating his body. And uh, these kind of things seem tedious. But ultimately, when you're running a race and you're trying to be better, then you put in the work. You work different muscle groups. And so, yeah, we're at a place where we're not, 
out smoking. We're not drinking. We're not at the club doing, you know, those, those things that people talk about. We're not stealing. We're not murderers. These are still points of needing self-control, points of focusing on where we need to be. And right now we're talking about finances, but the scriptures cover finances. If you don't have self-control, if you're being deceptive with your spending, that's a problem. So I don't want to make this a long video. Let me go into the third thing which was, um, oh, preparing by putting a little way, bit at a time, of putting a little way away at a time. So I know I've talked to you guys before about the super emergency fund, the emergency fund, and then the survival fund. When you look at it and you say, well, I can get a super emergency fund together. That's 500 to $1,000 that I can have for super emergencies if I need to get out of here with nothing but the clothes on my back. Fine, got it. And then there is that, uh, one month living expenses. Hmm, well, first of all, I have to go and tell you my monthly living expenses, and then I have to try to get that together. And then we get to the survival fund. Oh, well, three to six months living expenses. That's a lot. And yes, guys, it is a lot. But the fact is, everything we do, we take it a step at a time. So that's the third point. Do a little bit at a time. Have those goals. Have those milestones. Set them out by this time I want to have at least this amount of money. Then you break it down. If it's by the end of the year, I want this amount of money, then what are you going to do? You, you put that milestone there, then you break it down. Okay, for each month, I need to do this. Each month, I need to do this. So within those months, we have weeks. Thank the Lord for seasons and, and times that we can monitor these things and we can measure how we're growing. This is all that bookkeeping. We're measuring our transactions. So each month, what do I do each week to make sure I get where I'm needing to get, okay? And then each week, there are days within the week. What do I do to make sure I'm getting where I need to get? And then, of course, there are hours and minutes within the day. What am I doing? There's a saying, and I don't have, I don't have a copy of the book um, right now, but inside of the book that I've written, there is, um, which has nothing to do with finances, but everything to do with organization, and I'm not perfect, and that's another reason. Oh, that's another video I just I just released. We'll talk about that another time. Um, but in there, there's a quote from a businessman entrepreneur who says, "Never start your day before it's finished." And what he means by that is, never start your day before you've finished planning out your day to the detail um, and to the to the minute what you plan on doing. Because the only way you're going to be prepared for things that fall outside of that is to have them prepared for the day in the first place. So, again, I don't want to make this a long video. Three things to help you prepare for any future goals, be they good or bad or positive or negative, is to, one, stop secret spending, two, put measures in place, and in particular, we talked about different passwords, and then finally, three, Make sure you just do a little bit at a time to reach your goals and set yourself up to accomplish those goals. I think that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, of course, leave them in the uh, comment section. That will help the algorithm alert more people of the videos. While you're down there, please like the channel, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with someone else who you think could benefit from the information, and then go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you are alerted whenever I upload a video. Other than that, you guys know I'm here to help you to avoid generational paycheck to paycheck living or worse, generational poverty by helping you be the kind of helper to your husband who will help protect your family, nix your mortgage, defeat your debt, tame your taxes, make more, and live free. You guys go ahead and keep your money safe, but more importantly, keep your soul safe. And if you want any information about that, check in the description of the video. You guys have a great day. God bless you.